So I'm going to say you walk up to the front. Um, and what you see, I'm just going to read the flavor text because I feel like it. The stone steps emerge onto the top of the plateau beneath a once grand but now decrepit wooden gateway. The gates that sealed this entrance rotted away. Only their rusted iron hinges and reinforcing bands remain. In their place are heaps of human skulls, picked clean of all flesh and bleached white by the sun. They grin up at you from the roadway and down from atop towering mounds. So there once was like a wooden gate with iron bars reinforcing wooden planks. So it'd be like wooden planks inside of iron bars. And now those iron bars are filled with human skulls that look kind of gnawed on. And if you notice, I'm going to move Amber, at the front of the gate right here, there's just a giant heap of bones. So, what do you guys do? You're on the outside of the gates. Um, what do we do? Rest? You already rested. We've already rested. No exhaustion. No exhaustion. You're feeling great. It tells us. Just to get close. Let's go inside then. Gonna shuffle yeah. through the bones. Go on inside. Um. Do you sense undead? Oh, yeah. Uh, do I sense undead? No, you do not sense undead. Okay, then yes, I will go past the pile of bones. You sense dead? With your senses. <laughs> you see dead bones, you feel them, you hear them clacking, you sense dead. Your sensory faculties are in order. <laughs> Do we see anything inside the village? Signs of a battle? Uh, you see signs of time and gravity. Time and gravity. So here you see there is a well right there. It looks like a well. Very old. There's water in it. Um, you see ruins. There are like here there used to be a house. There used to be a house here. You see walls that are crumpled down. You see where... There's still some road remaining, but some of the road has gone away. Um, basically, like, house's fault. You know how gravity always wins? Like, eventually everything that is standing will fall down. Everything's fallen down. Yeah. Because okay. gravity happens. Except for over here. We have a hut. And we have a garden. And in I'll that shift garden, over this way. And in that garden... You see a very old woman. Very innocent looking old woman. Moving around. Woman. Hey, hang on. I, I wanna I wanna read the flavor text because I Oh excellent. I just wanna read the flavor text. Hang on. I'm gonna send you a picture of her. Do you see the picture of, of Nanny Poo Poo? Oh my God. Yes. The picture. Awesome. So the only structure still intact is a lone hut about a thousand yards where it is at the edge of a boulder field. The hut is made from thatch and animal hides stretched over the rib cage of an immense reptile. Animal skulls, wind chimes and totems of feathers and shells rattle in the breeze and smoke drifts from the hut. A creature shuffles slowly around the hut, hunched over in an animal-like posture. You realize it's a human woman, impossibly old, crippled by arthritis, blinded by cataracts. Her dark face and bald pate are outlined with streaks of yellow clay that suggest the shape of a skull. Or perhaps it's her shriveled flesh creating that illusion. Basically, you see old grandma working in the, in the garden. And Jess Gear, you said you were going up closer? Yes. As you um no. As you walk up, she goes, 
I hear visitors. Uh, yes, you do hear visitors. Oh, good. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Uh, how long has it been since you've had visitors? Too long. Too long. I've been very alone here since Pappy moved on. And she kind oh, of... Oh, Pappy. Yeah. And she kind of looks off in a direction... I say looks, you know. She's not completely blind, apparently, but she kind of looks off over to there where there's a gravestone. It just says Pappy chiseled into it. Not very well. I'll I'll strum my guitar. Strum. (laughs) Oh, music. It seems like you came for a hootenanny. I'm always ready for a hootenanny. Oh, that's wonderful. And at that time, at this time, um, oh, I forget how many. At this time, two d six flying monkeys come down. <laughs> so five monkeys come down. Oh, my pets are here. And the pets, um, they have like squirrels, parrots. Uh, dead kind of small things like that. Iguanas. You know. Now I have a meat for the stew. You've come just a little too early. I Come into Granny's, come into Nanny Poo Poo's hut. I'll get us some stew. And she heads okay. over into the hut and beckons you. Come in. Um, do you guys want to follow me into Nanny Poo Poo's hut? Yeah. Or no? Yeah. All right. I, I uh, love your hut. I, I love your use of... Oh, thank you. Words. Yeah, there's like... weird dream catchers around. Like, some weird ornamental bone-like art hanging from a string in an off balance fashion so that it just it's just always turning you know I love it. there's a fire it's like there's a big rib cage of some animal with like skins pulled taut over it and in the middle there's a big black cauldron over some coals and she feeds the coals some wood to get the fire going and it's bubbling a little bit and she puts the uh recent meat she got on the table and she starts cleaning it off with her old shaky hands. Um, can I roll a knowledge arcana to see if there's any magic going on? Sure. Six. Um, you sense there's, well, you know, this feels kind of, uh, feels kind of witchcrafty but it's witchcrafty in the sense of like kind of like fortune telling-y kind of witchcraft or um a little druidy perhaps not like serious witchcraft but more like trying to get in tune with nature and feel nature's energies okay kind of like hippie magic you know I it's see more you like love nature as people. well as I do. I right. tell her. Nature keeps me alive. Keeps us alive. It's what we are. Mm-hmm. It you can keeps tell there's everybody definitely alive. some religious stuff going on. There's a bunch of bones hanging around. There's bones everywhere. Some of them are animals, at least. You think it might be a religious thing. Uh, do you know what happened to everybody who lived here? Gone. Dead. All dead. How did they die? The terror folk killed us all. Except for Nanny Poo Poo. The terror folk? The terror folk! Big bird people, evil, killed us all except for old Nanny. Too wily. Who are the terror folk? 
uh, Annette tells you, the Terra Froak are, they're kind of like pterodactyl people. They're about man size, but they got wings and claws and talons. And, you know, like, they're mean. They eat people and. Is that what all those dinosaur drawings were on the way up? Dinosaur drawings? I I haven't left my home in a long time. I haven't descended those stairs in quite some time. I don't do well with stairs anymore. Possibly. The flying monkeys flew off, by the way. Why did they spare you? I'm too wily. That's what I like to think, but I'm probably just too stringy, too tough. Mm, Don't look appetizing. See. Yeah, I've run into that same problem. You know, so many people are, they take a bite of yask gear and they're like, oh man. Oh, it doesn't I'm, taste none too good. I'm sure many a young fair maiden would love to take a bite out of you. Oh, shucks. No. <laughs> You cute young man, you pinches your cheek. You you make me blush. Um, you can't tell if she is just being cute or creepy, and it's that's fine. It's cool. I enjoyed it either way, so yeah. it's cute. Um So what brings you all up here? Is she cleaning the You can tell she's having a little bit of trouble with the cleaning the meat. I, I wanna help her clean the meat. I, oh, do it. Uh, she's having trouble cleaning the meat. I'll help her clean some meat. Oh, thank you, young children. You're too kind, my old arthritic hand. Got I've got arthritic knees. I know how it is. Yeah. But uh, I'm still here because mainly the Lord of Bones and I have an understanding. Lord of, Lord, of Bones, Lord of Bones, you say? Yeah. What kind of understanding? Oh. He'll get my soul eventually, but not for a long time. That sort of understanding. Mm. I see. You sense that's probably part of her religious thing. There's bones everywhere. Okay. Yeah, if it wasn't for the Lord of Bones, the Terra folk would have gotten me by now. Damn them. They still live near here. I could rest much easier if my knowing if my people were avenged. They're not far from here. Just off we that way a bit. Your people. You could what? We could avenge your people. Oh, that would make old Nanny rest so much easier. I do oh, hate Madam... them so. They, they killed Pappy. Madam Poo Poo, it would be our pleasure. Boy, I mean, it, it, the stew's going to take some time, but... but with the likes of you, I'm sure you could take care of those Terra folk and come back in time for dinner. Sense motive gets put into perception in 5e, right? Insight is bluff check. Make your insight check. 19. Okay. She seems like she genuinely wants the Terra folk dead, but there's definitely... Something a little mischievous behind it. You can't tell what. She wants more than that. She definitely wants the Terra Folk dead, but you can sense there's more she wants. Hmm. If we kill the Terra Folk for you, what can you do for us? Well, dinner for one thing. Mm, dinner does sound good. 
But unfortunately, I, think I we might need have a more some. Old nanny might have some money stored away. Some gold. The town did have gold. I now own the town. It's not like the previous townsfolk have any use for their gold now. Have it hidden away. What do you guys think? Uh, uh, old Granny, um, give us a minute. We'll, we'll step outside and we'll come back in. Take your time. I need to chop up the vegetables from the garden. She gets her little cornucopia of vegetables and puts it on the table and starts, I don't know, shaving carrots or something. Snapping right, green beans, doing the granny thing. What do you think? I'm kind of worried she wants to put us in this stew. Yeah. She, she seems well, she does think I'm her. scrumptious. Yes, that's that would be the thing that really did me in. So, these terror folks sound pretty bad. But I don't know. Who's to say she's telling the truth? Um, were any of the bones we saw in her household human bones? Um, some of them. She does worship the Lord of Bones, though. So she has human bones. There are also animal bones. Okay, what if we just kill her and move on? I don't have any reason to kill her. Like, I'm fine with her living. What, what Amber, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Hey? I can hear you. I, I think... Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. But, Jess, here, can you, like, hear her, but hear her quietly? Yeah, it's super, super quiet for me. Well, how's this? Oh, that's way better. I'm sorry. Right. You're okay. fine. Um, what reason do we have to kill her? Uh, human bones. She has. She's in possession of human bones, in the middle of a ruin, uh, in which she says she's the sole survivor due to some kind of dark magic. Um, Annette also says. Um, so Mbala, like, this was a running town centuries ago. Um, no one, like, this was supposed to be completely abandoned. How is like, she they all died off centuries ago. Like, this is weird. Hmm. I don't see any reason to kill her. Okay. Hops, How about you, what about Hops? you? I don't see a reason to kill her either. This is like I want to know more about what happened, but I don't know how to ask her without getting because she was super vague about her bones, God. Yeah. We could ask her if she knows anything about the thing we're trying to find to the east. Um, we can. You want to ask her about that? I think we should. Okay. I mean, that sounds reasonable, so I think we should do it. Um, I think we should also be pretty wary of her um as the the circumstances of our meeting are pretty suspicious this is true so amber you want to want to lead us in the questioning sure i guess we go back in the hut yes what was the name of the thing we're trying to find to the east i keep forgetting 
Orolunga. Orolunga. All right. So I guess we go back in and I ask her if she knows anything about Orolunga. Okay, she says, I I have never heard of Orolunga before, but I have been on this mountain a long time. I know many things that are in the area. I can see them. I know of a place that's probably what you seek. I know the location of a rather large ziggurat. Go kill the terror folk for me, and I'll tell you where to find it. Ah. What's preventing us from just going and looking off the side and seeing it ourselves? I guess nothing. <laughs> Uh, uh, Madam uh, Poo Poo thank you so much for your help I think we're gonna try and wing it ourselves and take a look and head that way oh, you're not going to kill the Terra folk for me? we don't see here's the thing we don't know the Terra folk we don't know how if they're bad or not. You know, we'll take a stand against evil. Yes. All Terra folk are evil. And that pops in. Yeah, she's kind of right. They're all assholes. Oh, they are evil. Oh, yeah, the Terra folk. Their name's pronounced Terra folk, but we all call them Terror folk. They're monsters. Kind of like goblins. A bit worse. Um... And if we wiped them out for you, what would you do for us again? We've got stool. I've got some gold stored away. We would love that gold stored away. I'm sure you're not using it at all here. Oh, I have no use for it anymore. How much gold, though? Because this city was a long time ago, I'm sure, with inflation. <laughs> I, I, I'm curious. <laughs> Gold doesn't expire. I don't remember the exact amount. I buried it and hid it away a long time ago. But it was enough for the whole town. And we would trade with other towns. I say we killed the terror folk. It's enough for a whole town. I'm fine with that. Yeah. That's All right, better. Madam yeah. Poo Poo. We shall kill the terror folk for you. Oh, that warms my heart. In exchange for all of your gold. That warms my heart. I would miss that also, gold as much as I would miss stone. We would like a couple cups of your stew, too. Of course. Beautiful. Excellent. Tell us where these terror folk are and we'll dispatch them. Oh, they're off to the southeast, just down that way. Walk till you get to the edge of the cliff and look around. You can either rappel off the edge of the cliff to get to their hole in the mountain because they fly, you know. But there is a secret tunnel that leads down to their cave. And I don't think they know about it. They don't need it. But old Nanny Poo Poo found it. It's, it's in between... A tree and a rather large gray rock. You'll know it when you see it. Excellent. Let's do it. Okay. Yep. All right, let's head to the southeast then. All right. All right, now we're going to go to my very tediously and painstakingly made map of the Terra Folk Nest that I spent so much time creating. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah spent so much time working on that all right so this is in the middle of a giant cliff now hang on let me get my right here everything over here where the star is is just a fall it's just a drop. There's a cliff there. And everything in here is just cliff. It's dirt. Right? But everything in the circle 
that's a cave in the middle uh -huh. of the cliff, right? So you can either rappel down the cliff and the uh, these little things here, that's an opening to the tunnel. So this is like a big hole. See right here? I really wish I didn't use pink. So right here, there's like a, an opening. That's with a cliff mm -hmm. opening. Um, and here, that's where the uh, tunnel goes down to, where you can pop right in. I kind of want to use the secret tunnel. You're going to have to make checks and shit and repel and stuff. And if the Terra folks see you repelling down, well, they can fly and you can't. Yeah. I will climb slowly. <laughs> you can climb. Yeah, you can climb. It makes sense for you. You're a grung. There are two D6 Terra folk. Not two D4. Two D6 Terra folk. Three. Excellent. <laughs> There are three Perfect. Terra folk. And this circle right here is the mouth of the cave? Um, no, that is the mouth of the tunnel that goes from the top of the plateau down and into the cave. The mouth of the cave is over here. In between these sort of square brackets I put. Okay. All right, let's start heading down then. Okay. Let me start heading down. Here we go. I'm going to give you a handout for the Terra folk. That's what they look like. Fuck Very it. Cave. Let's go in guns blazing. I just drop in. Are those eggs? Yeah. Those are eggs. Oh. They're being kept warm by a fire. Oh. Roll for initiative. <sighs> okay, it's Jeskier, Amber, Terra Folk, Annette Hops. So um in this case, the uh Level one hills are actually, we're going to say those are walls. Those are cave walls. Um, okay. But the light bushes are, in fact, light bushes. Makes sense? Oh, I thought those were eggs. No, no. These are eggs. Oh, okay. Bush. Bush. Yup, and they do the bush stuff. Wow. Okay. All right, so Jaskier, you're up. Dissonant whispers on this guy. Cool. What does that do? Yeah, um, so he has to make a uh, DC 14 wisdom save. Okay. Or he takes 3d6 plus 6 damage. He made it. All right, so he'll take half damage. All right, 15. So half of 15 is what, 7? So he takes 7 Ish, damage. 7.5. He takes so we round take down. 7 damage. We round everything down. Pi equals exactly 3. Copy. All right. Anything else? Um I'll also shout uh, surrender now or else everyone will die. Okay. Noted. It is now Amber's turn. Mm. I see the eggs and I'm upset about it. But I'm going to go ahead and attack this person. This one. They do speak common, by the way. And their their intelligence them. is, you know, their intelligence is like not as good as humans, but it's not that bad either. Hi. 
We've heard you've been attacking Mbala. Why have you been doing that? I don't want to attack this person because I don't actually know if they're bad. <laughs> okay. So I mean it's the it's the Terra's Terra folks turn next. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's all I'm gonna do. I don't want to attack them prematurely. Oh god, this is funny. They go, um, uh, th this this one jumps back, right? And he goes, I I don't even know what Mbala is. What the hell? He just jumped down and started attacking my people. I didn't attack. How's my wife? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you assholes! I think and it's misunderstanding. Um, at this point, I think. He has to attack. Like you just jumped in. Like what? Well, he would have heard me talking. He, they can surrender. You, you I put the option forward. You said S surrender or die, and then proceeded to attack people. Yep. Do you know what the goblins say to people? They say we surrender, care. and then they go to kill people every time. Okay. Well, every are single these time. Guys surrendering. What? Are they surrendering? Uh, make a persuasion check with disadvantage DC 15. So Amber. Me? You're the only one who tried to persuade. I mean, realistically, you're the only one. Well, who I said surrender or die. I'm the one who put the fourth the ultimatum. Okay, okay. Amber Both didn't do anything. you make. Well, let me think. Um, disadvantage persuasion. I think what this would be is nineteen. Two, oh yeah, no rolls counted yet because I gotta figure out how we're doing this. So I think what this would be is one of you will make the persuasion check with advantage for the help you're receiving from the other one, right? Okay. But you're getting disadvantage because you jumped in and attacked somebody. So the advantage and disadvantage cancels out. I'd assume Yaskier's advantage is better, so there is no there will be no advantage. Well what I'm saying is like his base oh, roll yeah. is probably better. Yeah, so you will be helping I get him a to clear out this advantage. Alright, um, so you want me I, to roll for it? I have to decide on a DC before you roll. Um DC 15 with a negative two to the roll because you're an asshole. 17. You got a 17 with all your mods? Yep. Okay. Anyways. Oh, but that's 17 minus two, right? Yep. So 15. I passed. 15. Oh. Okay. Okay, they surrender. I so they're scared as hell. Um, th this Terra folk, kind of like lies down on the eggs and goes, "My babies, don't hurt my babies." I swear to you, we will not attack the eggs. You have surrendered. Your younglings are safe. Why are you doing this? This is why we hate humans and elves and dwarves. They're so mean. They're so Everybody mean. else, head you over that way. You think we're monsters? By You're the, the monsters. This name is loud. I instruct everybody else to move by the eggs. All the other Terra folk. Yeah. Okay. They're all so. You don't know what Mbala is, but you know this cliff that you're in the cave on the side of, right? Yeah. You know what's at the top of the cliff? Some old town? The, the, the old town claims that you've been attacking them? We haven't. I mean, that town was like that. That town's always been like that. It's always been empty. It's always been abandoned. Oh. Ah, jeez. 
Uh, I mean, I can't. But my family's been here for generations. I can't say what my ancestors hundreds of years ago did. I don't know. Right. But there hasn't Can- been anything to eat up. There's some old weird person up there. We stay away from her. Uh, she apparently doesn't like you. She sent us down here to kill you because she said you're attacking her and her people. We did try to eat her once or twice. What? Well, yeah. that's reasonable, okay? I You can eat, try and eat somebody at least once. That's oh. reasonable, everybody. You said you haven't been attacking them, though. She's the only Trying one to there. eat her. We didn't eat the entire town. Well, she is the... In- okay, fine. We tried to eat the entire town. The entire town consisting of one person. Hmm. Are you going to do that? Any- you said once or twice. It's important to me whether it was once or if it was twice. I mean, I I only did it once. Are there any more of you, or is it just... You There's three? more than one of us here. But, but... We it, may have done it once or twice. I have only tried once. But are there more than three of you? Like, are some of you out? Maybe. That's not the answer we want to hear. We want to know exact numbers. Our family has dwindled in numbers. We're trying to regrow. We're, we're all there is. Us and the eggs. What caused you to dwindle? We're a proud people. We don't like to say. I mean, we've kind of literally got you in a corner. You, you might as well just tell us. That old woman's wily. There's a reason we don't attack her anymore. But you guys could probably take her. I don't know. Um, what was the other town we were uh, looking to get some info on? Orolunga? Yes. What do you guys know about Orolunga? We, we really don't know the names of your people's places. The town to the east? Oh, to the east? You guys made a big-ass ziggurat to the east. No one's been there, ever. But we've seen it. We can fly. Yeah, it's dead east. Get your compass out. Go east. The most eastiest you can go. Can't miss it. Get to the top of the... of the... of the mountain. Look east. You'll see it. Okay. Do you happen to have any remains of the rest of your family which have passed? No. No, oh, that's a shame. I'll use press the digitation and shout at them. I said she wanted remains of your family. <laughs> <laughs> What, you think we just and keep our dead sh- lying around in our house? Is that... you To shake the walls and shit. Like, Do you to elves stairs. just keep your dead lying around your living room? Gosh, you people are so... And you think we're the monsters? Well, are they buried anywhere nearby? No. No. I'm trying to help you out. This lady likes bones, and I thought maybe I could take some of y'all's bones and be like, they're gone, and then she wouldn't bother you anymore. Then she could have more bones for her bone collection. <laughs> See, Creepy. that's where you Terra folk are right. Creepy. That's where you Terra folk are right. We are <laughs> no. the monsters. You acquire and sell people's Just for bodies. This one lady. What are you ghouls? Oh, oh, okay. Stealing the bot dead bodies from families and selling them to some old lady is not creepy because it's an old lady. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Right. Um, 
Where can we find the bones? We need bones. Well, we've got some. I, we, we've got some bones. Yeah, we got some bones. The blue. I'll follow you. I'll go shoot you some bones. He. Uh, no, I want Terra folk bones. I want your bones. You, you, but you, you said that you'd spare us if we surrendered. I said I would spare your eggs if you surrendered. And I have spared your eggs. I want to know where bones are for some terra folk. We don't store our dead. You don't Most bury them either? Eaten. Most of us get eaten after we get too old. Don't have the bones. That. You said that she. there's a reason she's still there. What other than being wily? Is there another reason? She's scary. Why is she scary? We failed to eat her. In, okay. Wait. So you, that's why she hates you because you tried <laughs> to eat her only once or twice. How? Why but did you fail? All it takes is one time. Because of how wily she is. I don't understand. She just disappears. We go to fight her, then she's just gone. Like right in front of your eyes? Just boop, gone. Like teleports. I don't know. Hmm. If you teleport it, she'd bob up someplace else. I need you we guys go to, to eat go. Her, then boop, gone. I need you guys to go. Leave your eggs. Fly as far away from here as possible. Look. We know our eggs are delicious. All right. No, we're not we going to eat them. You're going. Everyone wants to, to eat you. our eggs. Even we want to eat I, our eggs. Don't think we haven't I tried one or two of them. <laughs> They're fucking delicious. I, sw I swear to you, we will not eat the eggs. We're not leaving our eggs. We'll leave with our eggs with us. But we're not leaving our eggs. It's treason. Then I cast uh, dissonant whispers. On this guy. Uh, okay. He's the one I hit before. Yeah. Okay. All right. DC 14. Wisdom save. Uh, yes. All right. So he takes half damage. Okay. How much damage is half damage? All right. Uh, six. Got it. All right, and he does not have to run away from me. Okay. I guess it's initiative time. Uh, we'll just stick with the same initiative we had, because why not? I don't want to hurt them. They weren't complying. <laughs> but they don't seem bad. They didn't They, they are bad. They tried to eat her, but They like, tried to eat her. It was only once or twice. I'm chaotic good. I don't want to hurt them. I don't They know. tried to eat her. Once or twice. So if something tried to eat you once or twice, you'd be like, "Ah, eh, whatever. They can try again." Well, it doesn't really matter because it's they their were turn. Unrepentant. <laughs> Had they decided yeah. to leave, I would have let them live. I just wanted them away from here, so they wouldn't try and eat this broad again. But Fair. they said they wouldn't leave. I'm just to let you guys know. I'm not after hurting the the eggs. I don't want to hurt the eggs. Right. But you how just, are the babies? eggs going to survive without a parent? We'll give them to the old lady. And she'll put she'll them in the stew! <laughs> we don't know that. She might raise her own army of uh, soft-boiled eggs. What are the chances I could take an egg with me? Would it die? You, you, you know enough to hatch an egg. You I'm can hatch for an killing egg. them if I can take an egg with me. You can totally hatch an egg. All right, fine. You have you you have the power. You've got that 
motherly. He has in the you. power. I don't want to wipe out a whole. You just got to keep it warm, something. really. You well, it's not the whole species. It's just the species in this area. Yeah, you're not killing all the terra folk. Okay. You're just well, killing a okay. family. <laughs> All right, let's see that damage. Uh, he'll take 17 damage, and he has to run away as far as his movement speed will allow away from me. Well, he's unconscious, so that's about from standing to prone distance away from you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, as I put him out of his misery, I shout, Surrender now, and your end shall be peaceful. O okay. The um, purple g guy goes, You killed my entire family, you bastards! His, he's bleeding very badly at this point. Amber, mm -hmm. it's your turn. And he's not showing any signs of wanting to flee or anything. Well, it's your turn. He, yeah. It's not time for him to do anything. He just responded with that. Hack him with my great sword. Not happy about it. Oh, God. It's uh, 11 damage. He is unconscious. All right. They're unconscious. They are dying. Yes. Dying. That's all I can do. All right. I guess the question now is, what do we do with the eggs? Amber, you wanted one. I want and one. I'd like to turn the rest of them into um, the old lady. Okay. I don't want to kill this whole family off. I, I would like to save the eggs. But if we're giving them to the lady, I don't think she's going to... I think she's just going to put them in her soup. Can you take care of all of them? How many no. eggs are there? Uh, you, you count them up. There they are. So, two, four, ten. six, eight, ten. Yeah, There's I can't. ten of them. I can't raise that many. I'm, I I can do one. I'm I'm but one person. So, yeah, you do with them what you want. I'm just saying. I think she's gonna eat them. All right. Well, I can't speak to that, but uh, I tenderly collect up the eggs. Um, I give whichever one Amber wants to Amber. I just pick one out because I'm like, hey, I like this one. So. Who dad? Um, over there, you notice there's two dead explorers. Oh boy! All right, they're just kind. They're mostly de. They're mostly just skeletons. They got some clothes um, on themselves, so though. Still, before I head they over that heavily, way, heavily they're heavily salted and preserved. Huh. I'll uh, coup de gras both of these guys. Oh, they've been dead them. for a long time. Oh, they're missing okay. like biceps, quads. No, no, no. I mean, I one mean of them only the... has one glute. I mean the Terra folk. Oh, uh, oh, you coup de gras both of them. Yep. Okay. Uh, the adventurers have some treasure on them. Six GP, a silver dagger, and a potion of greater healing. And Annette goes, See, I told you. I told you the tarot for the terror folk are evil. Told you. I don't know that those dead bodies mean they're evil. I you can see from here that they're like preserved or something with salt. I don't know what's happening over there, but I don't They're think eating them! I don't think the Terra folk know how to do that kind of thing. They didn't seem all too bright. 
you, you see next to their bodies there's some like flaying knives I think this woman killed those people mm-hmm. uh, honestly I don't feel good about this either um, the terror folks seemed okay I feel really bad I did not want to have to murder them but they were attacking you and you're my party member. So I felt the need to, but that's why I would, I must raise this egg now. <sighs> uh, so you guys want to climb on out of here, go back to yep. Nanny Poo Poo. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Not- before we do that, I'll tie the eggs against my body. That way my bot so like right that way it's flat. That way my body can warm the eggs. Mother Jaskier. Yeah, mama. <laughs> Put one Jaskier. of them in your big hat. Like between <laughs> your head and your hat. I am going to hold mine against me in such a way that hopefully nobody is able to tell that I have one, because I don't want her to know when we get up there that I took one. All right, let's head back up. All right. So back to Mbala. Oh, Mama Peepoo. Oh, you pretend. Are those eggs I see? They oh, you got the eggs. Terra folk eggs are delicious. Crack them and put them in the pot. Oh, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. Of course you can. Uh, we killed them for you. They won't be bothering you anymore. Thank you. They now did admit now. to trying to eat you. I told you. They can't catch me. I'm too wily. That and I have Pappy. Who's Pappy? Oh, he's my old man. Gone. I thought. I thought he was dead. Well, he is, in a way, kind of. I pull him out every so often. Let he could use some soup. Let's go see how he does. She gets a bowl of soup. Come on, follow. Let's go see Pappy. I follow along. All right. They go out. You see the gravestone. It says Pappy. It's like Pappy just loves his soup. I've got soup, Pappy. And at this point, she puts it down next to the grave. And a giant hand just (laughs) out of the ground. And then, yeah. Go ahead. What are you going to say? I mean, as soon as she started talking about taking soup to Pappy, I would have started to concentrate to sense undead. You sense no one dead. Oh god, I'm confused. You had to do that. You had to go and fucking do that. I tell her. The the hand kind of crunches down on the bowl and breaks it. And then um what sits up a man sits up from the grave and I shared a uh handout with you guys. You see the handout? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what you see. It's a flesh golem. Um, I cast dissonant whispers on it. She had to do that. She had to fucking do that. You had to do that. I shout at her as I cast it. Yep. I will not suffer evil to live. Evil knows evil. <laughs> and cast a vicious mockery on you. And her illusion changes. Um, her appearance changes to... This. I have a handout of her for you. Oh my. Oh jeez. Yes. Well that explains some things. Um 
Okay, so how are we going to do this? Jaskier did the thing first. And then we'll have uh, Nanny Poo Poo go second because she did a thing next. And then we'll roll initiative for everybody else. That makes sense? I yeah. guess that sounds good. All right. Okay, so it's going to be just here. Nanny Poo Poo, Amber, Annette, Hops. There we go. Okay, Jess Gear, what were you doing? What did you do? You did a thing? Yes, Dissonant Whispers. Okay, what does that do again? I always forget. Uh, DC 14 Wisdom Save. Uh, uh, the Flesh Golem has to make that. Okay. Um, he does not make that. All right, let's roll for damage. All right, 18 damage. Cool. And now he has to use his movement speed to run as far away from me as possible. One, two, three. Whoop. There, that's about as far away you can get. Oh, I forgot to roll initiative for the flesh golem. Got him. All right. Flesh golem's going last. All right. Now it's Nanny Poo Poo's turn. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Who? Uh, Jaskier. Oh, shit. Three. Her spell save is 12. DC 12. Monsters, they just, they have a number and that's the number it is. Okay. Uh, well, I failed, so... That means you take 1d4 psychic damage and All have right, disadvantage me. on the next attack roll. All right. You want to hit me with that 1d4? Yeah, sure. Two. All right. All right, Amber, you're up. Gosh, yep. why did that? Okay. Uh, okay. This space is in the hut. Yes. Okay. Shame. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go here. And... The hag hasn't acted yet, right? She just had a turn. She did. Okay. Yeah. Then I will attack her with my great sword. Cool. Boop. 21. Uh, that hits. You need an AC of 17. Awesome. So she takes 12, and then I get to do that again. Do it. Boop. Damn, eight. So she just takes the 12 damage and then my turn is over. Cool. Annette is up. I'll put her there. That seems like a cool place. All right. Eight. Nope, Firebolt missed. Hops, you're up. Move. Nice. And then... Blood Spear. Does a 22 hit? Yep. Uh, DC 12, Con check. Okay. Yep, got a th uh, 14... Okay, then just seven piercing damage. Okay, I'm going to spend a key point to Furia Blows. Okay. Oh, natural 20. Nice. 
uh, 12 bludgeoning damage, and now she gets to make a uh, DC 12 con check or be poisoned. Isn't it double the damage die, though? Uh, it is. Did you not double the damage die? I, I did. No, okay. it would be 24 then. 24 damage. Oh, no, no. You use twice as many die, and you roll twice as many die. You don't multiply the end result by two. Oh, You multiply mind. the end result by two if you're using um, a vulnerability of some kind. Okay, that makes sense. Now, I'm not saying the Flesh Golem is vulnerable to fire, and any fire damage would be multiplied by two. But that would be a potential example. Uh, con, is it con time? Yeah. Nope. Got so nine. she's poisoned. So she has disadvantage. Okay. Um, and then my last unarmed strike, twenty-three, and five more bludgeoning damage, and that's it. Wow. How much damage total? Um, seven plus twelve plus five is twenty-four. Nice. I put a symbol on her to represent that she has disadvantage, so I don't forget. Dang. Anything else, Hops? That's it. All right, now it's the Flesh Golem's turn. All right. Jaskier, can he, like, move up and attack now? He can. Okay. Or at least I think he can. Let me look. Yeah, I think he can. Okay. All right. 1, 10, 15, 20. He is the exact same distance between Amber and Hop, so I'm going to roll a die. Uh, on an even, Amber is going to be attacked. It is odd. Hops is going to be attacked. Oh. Five. He's squeezing to get here, so that's 10. Squeezing again. So that's. My hand. Five. 15. 25, 30. That's how that works. All right. Now he's making a slam attack, and he gets advantage because he's flanking hops, right? Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, fuck. What were those? 19, 19. plus 7, 26. I assume that hits. Yeah. So that's 2d8 plus 4. So that's 11 plus 4 is 15. Ouch. Okay. And now he's going to do it again. Because he gets two slam attacks. 14. Does a 14? No. Hit? No? Okay. So he missed that second one. You're lucky. All right. That's Flush Golem's turn. Chess Gear, you're up again. All right. Um... One, two, or five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I'll move there and then cast the dissonant whispers on the flesh golem. Okay. Alright, let's see that uh DC 14. Is this con? Wisdom. Wisdom? That's plus zero, so he did not pass. Alright. So he runs. He doesn't have any... Sp oh, he does. He does have speed left. 5, 10, 15, 5. Alright, uh, 15. To hit? Uh, 15 damage. Damage? Okay. And he triggers an attack of opportunity as he moves away from Hops. He does. Hops, go ahead. I will use my reaction to... To attack it with the Blood Spear. Cool. Does a 17 hit? Yes, it has an AC of 9. Uh, 8 piercing and make a 
con saving throw for the poison. That's at nine. Plus four is 13. He passed to oh. DC 12. Oh, by the way, the flesh golem is a construct, not an undead. Sorry. Um, anything else? That's it. All right. Hops went. I was no, no, that was the yes, flesh golem. Turn. Flesh golem went. Yeah, okay, so now. Away. Oh wait, so Jas Gear just went right. Yeah, that was and then my Hops turn. Moved, and then the flesh golem moved. Then Hops did his attack of opportunity. So now it's Nanny Poo Poo's turn. Mm-hmm. All right. Hang on. She's a spellcaster, so she's going to do the spell casting. She just disappears. She literally just disappears. Yeah, she has invisible passage. The hag magically turns invisible, and you can't see her. Shoot. Do we know that's what she did? You could see her, and then you couldn't. Right, but do we know she just turned invisible, or do we think she could have done something else? Um, make a, uh, either a knowledge, make a knowledge arcana check, because she's magical. She is a fae. How do I, oh. Just make it, yeah, arcana should be a skill. 17. You know hags can turn invisible. Okay. Yeah. Invisible passage. The hag magically turns invisible. That does not mean incorporeal. It does not. She is still where she is. Yes, but she has a movement speed. Um, She does. The hag magically turns invisible until she attacks or casts a spell, or until her concentration ends. While invisible, she leaves no physical evidence of her passage, so she can be tracked only by magic. And all her clothes and stuff turns invisible as well. Damn so, it, damn it, damn it. Much damn it. I should have used my Huntsman's Mark last turn, because then I'd know what it is. Oh, well. And then... Uh, I gotta get... All right. She now moved. Amber, it's your turn. Ha! Ah. It is my turn. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh, Bless you. Thank you. So, I guess I use. Where'd my core sheet go? There it is. Um, longbow on the. Plus golem. golem? Okay. Yeah. You only need a nine to hit. It's big. Twelve. That hits. So three damage. Bam. And then that's the end of my turn. Cool. And that's up. Fifteen. And she's going to cast Firebolt. Yes, that hits. So I get to double the damage die. So that's 2d10. Eight damage. So it takes the eight damage. There, and it now has disadvantage on the next attack turn because it suffered fire damage. Um... And I just realized that it has an immunity to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical weapons. So, moving forward, I think, yeah, we divide any damage by two round down for non-magical sla- attack okay. attacks. Hops, you're up. Okay. I'm going to move here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 
and I am going to use a Radiant Sun bolt and punch at range. Cool. For 13 hits. Yep, you only needed a 9. Uh, 7 Radiant damage. Got it. I'm going to waste a uh, Fury of Blows or a key point to do Fury of Blows. So 22 hits. Yep. Seven more radiant damage. And my last one is also a 22. All right. Okay. 21 radiant damage. 21 radiant damage? I got nothing but sevens. Wow. Okay. So it just got blasted with a firebolt and then radiant punches of light. Just... It kind of has a tan now. Like it was pale white when it came out. Now it's kind of tan. All right. It is now the Flesh Golem's turn. 5, 10, 15, 20. He's going to attack with disadvantage. I'm going to give him a negative 5 to this roll. Um, so he has a plus 7 to hit, but then minus 5, so I'm just going to add plus 2. 7. I don't think a 7 hits. Nope. All right. He's got another one. 15. Yep. That hits. Well, I thought you said it was minus five. Yeah, but he has a plus seven to hit. Oh, okay. Never and then mind. a minus five for the disadvantage, so it's plus two net. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Thank you for keeping me on track, though. I often mess these things up. You know this. All right. 2d8 plus four. That's 13 plus the four. 17. Woof. Just gear, it is your turn. All right. Um, same thing, dissonant whispers. This time I'm using a level two spell slot. Okay. Um, so he still has to succeed on a DC twelve or DC fourteen. All right. Is that uh that's wisdom, right? Yes, sir. All right, so he did not pass. Twenty-one damage. All right, he he's out of the fight. He he is down. I'm just gonna say he's dead because I don't think it makes sense for a construct to go unconscious. I awesome. don't think they can. I, I think don't they know just what that would mean. Dissolve as a construct. His body isn't stitched together anymore. All right, and that's your turn. Anything else you want to do? Um, yeah, I'll shout out, you know, Hag, come forward and face us. Okay, well, it is now her turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the last, at the end of her last turn, she was meant to do another con save to make sure to see if she was no longer disadvantaged or poisoned. Okay, let's do that now. Recon is plus three, so she got a 20. She passed. Cool. Um, does she still have the disadvantage? I don't think so. Yeah, she passed, so she's good now. Okay. Wouldn't she have a disadvantage for the roll, though? Uh, oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, I guess. All right, let's see. Well, the wait, let me think. She's so disadvantaged for one turn, right? After it occurs. She, she's disadvantaged for... Um, so she's poisoned for up to one minute. And then when I'm no longer touching her, at the end of her next turn, she can make another... She makes a save to see if she's no longer poisoned. Oh, and if she's no longer poisoned, then the disadvantage goes away. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I need to make, and we should have made that uh, check with disadvantage then. Yes. Stands to reason. All right. And this was con. So three months, zero. So she still has disadvantage. <laughs> and she takes the poison damage, right? 
Uh, no, this is just a poison condition. I have to be using a piercing weapon to do the poison damage. Okay. She pops up behind Jaskier. Oof. And oh, goes, wouldn't that trigger an attack for opportunity? She never left your... She moved in and then around my threat square. Threat square. Yeah, but you she have to have had to move out of it. No. Or from over here. Never she mind. Was, yeah, she was here. At yeah, the start. here to there. Yeah, because last turn she was here and then she moved to like here. And then she moved from here to there. So she yeah. went 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and she still had th- five feet of speed left. Anyway, she pops up behind you and goes, Let me taste you, Sunny! And she, like, attacks with her claws and her teeth kind of all at the same time. It's a claw attack, but she's totally taking a bite out of your neck. Okay. Lots of women want to. Yeah. Oh, this is with disadvantage, so I gotta roll two. One. So, she misses. Totally misses. Just, ah. You nimbly dodge. She bites air. Nice. And Amber's turn is up. All right. How- uh, before, before we move on, let's do this right. She does another DC. Or yes. a con save. Thank you. 14. And the other one because of disadvantage? Oh, right, right, right. That was an 11. That was less than an 11. So 13 now. She needed a 12, it, right? Yes, so she's no longer disadvantaged. Okay. How tall yeah. is like this thing and this thing? Do we see over them or no? Okay, so this thing, that's a road. Which thing? The the T, the big black T. This thing, that's a road. That's a, so big, I can. Yeah, the big black T like is a road. Walk on it. This thing here. Yeah, let me get my pen out. Yeah, so this here, that there's a wall. We're gonna say this is level two. And we're gonna say this here is level one. Don't see what you're writing. Oh, you don't see the pink. <laughs> No, so no. you see how this is a wall? It's th- yeah, and then this, is, this road. is a road. Yeah, I get that. And then this would be a wall. Yeah, and then you can see the shadow right here. So probably uh, yeah, have it. So some of the walls are tall at one part and short at the other part. If they're tall, it's level two. If they're short, it's level one. So uh, if I'm here, there's no cover at all. Can I aim at the hag? Yeah, totally. And I can see her. Okay, well, I'm going to first use a bonus action to mark her as that. Mm -hmm. So I use my hunter's mark so that I can then attack, attempt to attack her with my longbow. Uh, 13. Nope, she's got an AC of 17. Okay. And then that's it. All right. Nets up. Yep. She's going to fire bolt. Why? There it is. Yep. Wow. Two D ten. That's uh, 11. Oops. Hops, you're up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And I'm going to Radiant Punch. An eight misses. I'm going to spend my last key point to floor your belt blows. A nine misses, probably. 
you need a 17. Okay. And then a nine misses. And that's the end of my turn. Cool. And then the flesh golem's up, but he doesn't get a turn. Jess Gear, you're up. You're up. Excellent. Dissonant Whispers, casting with a level two spell slot. Cool. She's got to make a save, right? Yep, DC 14. Was it con? Wisdom. Wisdom? Okay, well, she makes it. She got a 19. All right. Um, so she takes half damage, and she doesn't have to run away from me. Okay. 11. All right. Um, now it's Nanny Poo Poo's turn. Um, she's going to go invisible. And she's going to move. Um, there we go. She moved. That was her turn. Dang. Amber, you're up. So, I don't, I don't think, think my hunter's mark actually, actually helps me at all if she's invisible. Because I've mystically marked her as my quarry, and I get advantage on wisdom and perception checks to find her magically. But, she doesn't leave anything behind, so I can't, like... Oh, what, you can find her magically? Mystically. Mystically? She has been mystically marked. Well, she so can be tracked only by magic. So is mystic is mystical a subset of magic? Mysticism no is magic. Okay. So yeah, you can so you just know where she is. Well, I'm I'm mystically get an advantage on wisdom perception or wisdom survival checks to find her, which is where I think even though I'm using magic, I don't think perception or survival Oh, I see. Helps find her, which is where I'm confused. Oh, yeah, this is... You could do a perception check to find her and then call out her position to the rest of us. That sounds fair. Okay. Um, You get advantage Cause... on it, you said, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I got to yeah. pick a DC. Um, Let's see, what are, what's her... Wouldn't it be a uh, like a DC zero because she's mystically marked? But then she basically already I still knows have where she is. I have advantage to find her, though. It doesn't say yeah. I automatically know where she is. So if it says I have advantage and the DC was zero, then the advantage doesn't make sense. All right, let's do... I guess. Um, let's do a DC 10 with... Uh, take a negative 2 to your roll. A negative one because her dex is one and a negative one because she's invisible, I guess. So DC 10, so negative then, two to your roll. So that'd be like a DC 12 pretty much? Essentially, yeah. Okay. Perception, advantage. 19, so 17. All right. She's right there. Hmm? Oh, do you not see my pink? No, no, I don't see your pings. I think you're on a... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I see. Sorry, I gotta go to the... Um... I didn't know the pings were there. Oh. oh, she's over there? She's over there. Hey, y'all, she's over there. Um, And then I guess I fire an arrow at her. Makes sense. You might want to move, though, because you got... um those pillars in the way yeah like here yeah Oop. no not advantage i don't get advantage on that all right reroll yeah 22 yep that'll hit awesome um 10 piercing and then 
since she's my marked prey, I deal an extra 1d6 damage. So let me manually do that. 1d6. 1. So she takes 11 total. All right, divide that in half. That'd be 5. 5. Yes. Okay. You you shot her good. Yeah, a second. Her concentration ends. You can now see her. The arrow like went right into her heart. Oof. And she goes, "You bastard killed Pappy." She collapses down. And she is unconscious. Um, I'll immediately move and coup de gras her, finish her off. Okay. She is now a dead hack. Congratulations. You well, now I have nine little eggies I need to take care of. And there I'm is one proud mama. And at this point, Annette goes. And now we get to have soup. <laughs> we get soup. So much soup. The best soup. All for us. All for us. All for us. I do not trust that soup. I can neutralize poison. poison. If that helps you feel any better. better. Poison doesn't affect me. Uh, Yeah, you're right. Could be a magic magic soup, soup, though. That would suck. I'll have some of the soup, and then I guess I'll rest. Okay. I need... I need a long rest. You have the soup, and it's it's absolutely great. Yes. You you feel you feel great. It's great soup. Amazing. Yes. Does anybody want to search anything? Uh, yeah. Can we rest uh, before we start searching? Sure. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Let's take a long rest before we search. You got a hut to hang out in. Um, as you're hanging, or do you rest in her hut or do you set up tents someplace? I think in the hut's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You, as you're hanging out in her hut, you notice there's um, a very nice pair of boots in there. They look kind of new. Obviously, they would not fit her. Boots. They, they look like um, some very nice Chilton boots. Like Why they were made recently. Be boots in here. Mm, you ate people. It's the soup. Oh, like from the people down in the hole, maybe. Oh, right. Damn it, we ate people. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, so you take your long rest. Where in the town do you want to search? Um, I guess we'll do a double examination of her hut, and then I want to examine over here by this wall. Flesh okay. golem and her body. Yeah, flesh golem and her body. That they have her nothing on them. You that's useful. There, yeah. dude. All right, uh, you oh, guys want to head the wall? east then? You, Brett, yeah. you said you checked the wall. There's, it's, it's a wall. Congratulations. <laughs> now I remember, check. hops, you got, you got dry skin. You got dry skin, man. Mm. What would hops like to do? And there is a well. I will go into the well. Awesome. What do you do in the well? I'm going to climb down into it and go, go look. deep into the water and see what I see. Okay. Cool. I lost my notes apparently, but that's okay. So you're feeling around in there? Make a DC 10 dexterity check for me. It's a deep well. It goes like 40 feet down. 
I pass. Awesome. So about 20 feet below, you realize some bricks have been pulled out from the wall's well. From the well's wall. Yeah, some bricks have been pulled out. Um, you find a narrow 10 foot long tunnel leading from the hole. So there was a wall for the well. You found a place in the wall where some bricks were missing and you realize there's a hole where the bricks are missing. Do you go into that hole? Yeah. Okay. Of course you do. Um, you go 10 feet down this hole and you get into a cramped, completely flooded chamber. Um, you find a tied sack made from human skin in that chamber. And it's too cramped and dark and wet for you to really investigate it further. But you found a sack. Okay, I will grab it and bring it back with me. Okay. The sack contains six onyx gemstones, five GP each, a spell scroll, a spell scroll of comprehend languages, and ten adamantine ingots, ten GP each each stamped with dwarven runes huh. yeah that's what you got i'll type it up and put it in the discord that's your treasure awesome yes all right i think that's a good place to stop for the day anything else you want to mm-hmm. do that's basically it sweet awesome Thanks for putting in an extra hour today, guys. This was fun. It felt felt like a complete session of D&D. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, good games, guys. Excellent. This went very well. I had fun. <laughs>